that welding is as much an art as a trade and certainly the old masters had a great feel for their work. Today, the skills are still needed, but the work is much easier, especially with Ryobi's new range of modern welders. For this video, we assume that your knowledge is very basic, so this is an introduction to welding, from switching on the equipment to job preparation and basic welding techniques. But first, the most important item of all, safety. While welding with today's equipment is much safer than the old ways, you still need to exercise safety and care. Now, let's talk about safety. It's all pretty simple really, but you are using electricity, so follow the normal safety steps when using such a device. Remember also that things do get pretty hot at the business end, so always wear strong leather gloves, and there should be no flammable materials nearby, because when the sparks fly, enough said. Finally, never weld without an approved safety shield with the correct glass. This is a must. As a matter of fact, you should consult your owner's manual before you start anyway. After safety comes the startup. With the job at hand, you must make sure the earthing clamp makes good contact. The workpiece should be clean, free from rust and paint. You can clean it with a wire brush supplied, or better still, use a grinder to give you a good surface for welding. The job should be secured with clamps or a vice where necessary to provide a stable base for welding. Attach the earthing clamp and you're ready. An arc welder requires an electrode with flux on the outside. You fix the electrode in the holder like this and you're ready. Arc, of course, is the traditional method where the operator strikes an arc with an electrode clamped in a holder, withdraws it a fraction from the metal and makes the weld. It's a wonderful skill. Of course, the key to any successful welding job is the right combination of amperage and electrode. Now, on the subject of electrodes, always remember to store your electrodes in a cool, dry place. Damp or damaged electrodes make it almost impossible to weld correctly. Also ensure that the electrodes you're going to use are the correct ones for your application. Just check the thickness of the metal you're welding, then refer to the chart here on the machine to confirm the type of electrode you should be using. Ryobi makes it easy for you with charts like this. So, for example, if you wanted to arc weld a metal between 1.2 and 1.5 millimetres thick, you just check the chart. And the answer is a 1.6 millimetre electrode. Check the electrode size against the amperage scale and it reads 40 amps. OK, so having checked your chart and set up your machine, you're ready to weld. And your aim is to do a good job. Welding is about fusing metal together. If you don't get the correct fusion, you won't get a strong weld. You strike the arc, the exciting moment in welding, which simply means you strike the metal with the electrode. Ease the electrode about one millimetre away from the job, and with the electrode 30 to 40 degrees to the job, you run it like this, drawing it from left to right. This is a basic welding skill, and it may take some practice to master it. Understand that the weld is made by feeding the electrode into the molten pool and moving the electrode along the joint at that 30 to 40 degree angle at a speed needed to deposit the required size of weld. Watch closely as we show you what it looks like when the electrode is too close. When it's too far and when you have it just right. This is what you need to be seeing the electrode about one millimetre from the job at 30 to 40 degrees. This is the result. You can see the difference. This is too close, this is too far, and this is what we are aiming for, a good consistent bead with good penetration. Looks great, doesn't it? Obviously, it takes practice to achieve a good weld like this, but you can appreciate the possibilities from this brief introduction. 
it would pay you to get some pieces of scrap metal and practice before you start. Now we'll have a look at some handy tips. If the weld to be made is long, then spot welds called tacks can be used to hold the metal pieces in position before completing the weld. Just place the spot welds at intervals along the line of the weld. If the material to be welded is of a thickness up to 6 millimetres, it is possible to weld it in one pass. But if the material is over 6 millimetres, it is recommended to repair the metal like this. And run a number of welds along the line until the gap is filled. Here's wishing you happy welding and thanks for your attention.